Hey, what's up gamers, and welcome to the next exciting episode of Heathen Cuisine 2, our current Going Medieval playthrough here on the Bears and Beans channel. So just coming right out of a pretty awesome episode, right? The Meat Raid Special, as I like to call it. We had a lot, a lot of carnage going on. But that brings us now into my next idea. So this killing corridor that we have. One thing that I realized is that we're not getting enough kills before the raid expires and they all leave. I want to up our kill rate. And I think that having a single hallway is super effective, yes. But let's try breaking it off into several hallways. Start off with maybe two. So I'm going to completely reconstruct, redesign this right here to where then we can get a lot more of them in at a time. So we can start landing some killing blows. We'll make it more of a maze and then that way they're stuck in there with everybody. I think that'll be a lot more effective. We'll definitely give that a shot. We'll definitely make it also to where then if somebody were to want to build it this way, later on you can definitely accommodate archers as well. That might be something that as these... Raiding parties get bigger and bigger, we might actually start to incorporate archers, especially since we're becoming more and more technologically advanced. It's only a matter of time before our little tribe develops the bow and the arrow. But I digress. So we're going to tackle that today. We're going to finish. Looks like we're almost done here with our trough. The other big thing, too, that was brought up was maybe doing like a little moat kind of dig out on the sides right here. That way, if a trebuchet does take down these walls, the melee raiders still can't get in, so we'll definitely tackle that as well. We're going to make this just, you know, awesome, awesome, awesome. We're going to make sure that we can get all of our fighters to be fighting, doing lots of damage, getting maximum kills, while also staying pretty safe ourselves. The other big thing, too, is part of this rebuild. I'm going to check right now. Um, I got 79 clay bricks. I was thinking of maybe incorporating clay bricks. Ooh, we got 230 limestone. We are making clay bricks. So we might incorporate that maybe as some kind of face. Or maybe for the windows. I don't know. We'll uh, keep an eye on it. But this is definitely going to be something that we're going to want to clay up first. That way when they're in here during a raid, the trebuchets will have to do maybe a little extra shots to try and get in at our people. The bulk of it back here, obviously this is just going to go and... We'll accept that for now until we can get everything up. But right now, let's tackle this. All right, so we got these reinforced doors here. So let's go ahead and click on these. We'll drop those down. And let's grab this Tulio. Single layer floor only. Let's go like that and get all that out of the way. Let's also grab all of these windows. Go ahead and get those out of the way. So let's see. Hmm, how are we gonna do this? So we want these doors to be where they come in. I'm thinking maybe putting two side doors with a killing corridor on each side. I think that might be the most effective. So they're more like wings. So they'll, they'll funnel. Yeah, so we'll have all our people lined up like this along these walls. And we'll have the door here and here, maybe like a double. Then have it come around and around. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Something to funnel them in to where then they're, they're stuck within a one square. Our melee people can do a lot of damage. I think this will work out just fine. Let's go ahead and speed it up. Get things cooking. All right, we still got tons and tons to do down below. Still in the process of moving all of these. I want to open up that pathway right there. There's plenty of room. I started putting some of the stick traps down in here. That's essentially what the stick traps are going to be. We're just going to line the crap out of these water tunnels with all the stick traps. Using all of our good metal traps for up here. So... But again, we're still testing the validity of using this many resources for traps. We've seen that it does do some amount of good, so that's always a plus. Alright, so... 
Oh, this little buddy up here is gonna have to... You're gonna have to go, my friend. I don't know if they can get to you. Alright, and then same with these guys. Go ahead and grab these off. So, this will go, and this will go. As will this one, and this one. And then here, actually, you know what? Wait a minute. So I want them standing here. It means I need a window line here. Okay, so these won't go. These will stay. But this will need to go. Okay, okay. I'll slow it down just a little bit while I get my bearings here. All of these will need to go. So this one, this one will be what needs to go. You know what, these will need to also, but not these, okay. And the rest of this, well, do I don't, no, I don't want, those ones I want to flush out, okay. So those will go like that. I think this will, I think this will work. I think this should do it. What do we have as far as iron? Oh, we're sitting on 220. Okay, yeah, we're cooking. So, let's grab a reinforced door. Throw it up here and here. Oh, they're all sleeping. <laughs> I was just going to say, I'm wondering why nobody's getting to work. Bunch of lazy bums. They're all sleeping. You know what? This can stay. We have enough iron. I'm not worried. Okay, so this and this will become that. This will go like this. Gotta keep the aesthetic. Okay. And then we will throw it in here. Nope, nope. There and... Come on. Uh, but these ones need to be flippied. There we go. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do just fine. And then these will go right in here like this. But let's go ahead. 12 clay brick, and what do we have? Should have a fair amount. 71 clay brick. a few of these. Mm, you know what, let's wait. We've got the wood. We've got the clay, though. I mean, we want to use straight clay, then? Let's see, wood is 200. Straight clay has 150. Yeah, no. Wood is going to be our best bet for right now. Straight limestone versus limestone brick. Okay. Clay brick, obviously, is going to be the way to go later on. Alright, so we'll put this here. This one here that this and this need to become that. I know, this is going to be crazy. Let's get everything back up to speed here. We can get cooking. You know, I could have him come up and put a ladder and do a line of windows over here. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. This is gonna get a little weird. But I like weird. We like some intricate bases here, right? Don't we? All right, so that means these need to go after all. And that also means that we need to put in a ladder right here. All right, we need to get out here and get to work. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You figure 12, so we'll have 3 and 3, 3 and 3. Be perfect. So 1, 2, let's see, we'll have that one there, that one there. We'll have another one here and here. 
right, there you guys go. Break all that down. Give us a nice clean slate. There, there. There, and come on. There. All right. Which then means we'll have like this. For that. And then this bit will go like this. Yep, and they'll get in there from there. Gotta get some flooring. Alright, gotta get a little bit of flooring in there. Alright, so this one can become a normal. Same with this one. Alright, there we go. So we'll have guys on each side and we'll have two flank points. That should work out a little bit better. Then we can put people, they'll come up through here, come down the ladder, and they'll enter into this little area. So the raiders are gonna have to really try. They're gonna have to get through one, two, three. There's a fourth one in there. And then five just to get to these three. Or then five to get up here to come down and get to these six. Or then this five. So essentially seven to eight doors to really effectively get to all of our settlers. Again, assuming that doesn't get brought down by a trebuchet. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh man, they are just building machines right now. It's Jamesy boy, leading the charge. Bro's letting the world know what's up. Right, we got that. Oops, I'll grab all of these. Damn it. Come on. Again, just the aesthetic. You guys know me. I'm gonna make it look right. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna have a full-on combat zone. Let's put down the one piece right there. <laughs> just to have that one. Gotta have that one. And then we'll put in this all up here. The same with all up over here. We know it's freaking out. Let's put these in for my sanity. Here. Right, well, actually, you know what? No, we don't want them here. I want to leave this open for a killing corridor. So, what's the issue here? Not enough resources. What? Not enough resources. Do we seriously run out of wood? No. We've got 1,200. Oh, polywash. Oh, there's that. Looking sharp. You know what? I might want to go one more. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. That was a bad idea. Let's go. Killing corridors. With all that new dirt, let's go ahead and fill this in a bit. in that's a nice little back door yeah no 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 I think not 
Alright, so this should build up just fine. That'll be nice. Now we'll be able to hit them on both sides, from both sides. Hopefully increase our kill rate. And then once all of this is done and finalized, I'm going to build these other houses. Because as we found when we got a new settler, it took forever for them to build the house up here. Just because of the whole travel. Because some of that water-based stuff, the only way to get there is they have to come down and go around and then come all the way back. And it's a bit tedious. And I feel bad for them. So once this is all done up here, we'll go ahead and tackle that. And then hopefully here, once we get out of winter, which should be in another day or two. Uh, yeah, it's day 12 right now. So when they wake up in the morning, spring should have sprung. Let's get some steel. Oh yeah, that looks much better. Nice and open. Yep, so no more coming up here and then trying to snake around to bypass the traps. Sorry guys, not gonna happen on my watch. Alright, and then what we'll need to do now... All these traps are gonna have to get moved. Oh. But... We're gonna wanna dig out a trough here. something so that way they can't try and snake us there now if the walls do fall they will not be able to come at us as intensely and then we go to flooring we should have the iron yes yes we have the iron so let's put in some iron grating that'll look real nice and last but not least, the Fist de la Resistance. The thing that makes it all happen. The Merlones. Let's put the corner bit. Come on, swap me around. There we go. We'll grab this one, corner bit. Sweet. And there she'll be. Nice, wider, double entrance. Little moat protection going on. Alright, make sure that we're very well insulated and sealed in. That's gonna come out real nicely. Alright, where are you, Jeffrey? Jeffrey, you need to get on this, my dude. Go and prioritize the diggings. And then we'll have to figure out a way to rearrange some of these better traps, and all the sticks will line up down here. So these are going to be our primate or our uh, initial death corridors or our, our death tr our death trench. There we go. We'll call it a death trench. So we'll have t our death trenches, which will be covered in these stick traps, and then we'll have all of our wood and iron ones piled up right here and right here at the entrances, or maybe just before. Maybe just before. Hmm. Or maybe up here somewhere. Just kind of right here. Group them all up right here. Yeah, because we kind of want them away from... Away from the villagers. Because once they get in, past all the traps, and get up onto here. And I think that's where then we'll get them. We'll get them good. Right. Let's do a little aesthetic. A little aesthetic bumps. I'm right, gonna move these bad boys in. And take these bad boys. Move them in as well. As well. Yeah, that'll look real cool. And this one. Again, keeping the same vibe now. I know we do so much moving around. It's crazy, but at least it gives them something to do. Alright, there's a small silver lining to it all. And the other thing that's really cool is all the trees that are starting to grow in, and they're like growing in between too. So really giving us that treehouse vibe. That's what I'm most excited about. Go ahead and hack that out. How are we doing on bricks? What are we up to now? Um, where are they going? I 
Alright, where's he going with them? Alright, you're carrying 20 bricks. Where are you going? He's going down, down. And a little around. <laughs> Sorry. Down here. This is where 28, but what were they being used for? So we had like 70. Yeah, see, here's 20. There's a six pile. Where are they going? Fodder marked, right? Yeah. So what are they doing with the brick? That's really what I want to know. There's another pile of two. That makes the 28. We had like 70 something. We have a random flimsy deer hide rug. Okay. That's somewhere, I guess. it in here. But I copied one of these to there. Not enough limestone. We got tons of ferment stuff in here. What are they using the brick for? We had like 70 something. I'm so confused. Because I don't remember making anything out of brick. Oh! I know what it's being used for. The floors. I turned all the floors down here into clay brick. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. That's fair. Look at all that food and ice, though. Mm, delicious. Hey, and spring has sprung. Yeah, that's that's all food. All of this. Just food. Textiles, too. Obviously, linens and stuff. And human skin. Lots of human skin. Pretty sure we're out of bodies. Do we have any bodies left? I don't see any more bodies. But, yeah, that's all, uh, fermenting. What I need to take out of here is so ice. I need to take, um, vinegar out. It's all fermenting stuff. Huh. Material manufactured. Yeah, vinegar's not in there. Huh. Is it in here, though? Materials manufactured. Yeah, it goes out here. Okay. Rough wine. We got dubious boot. We got a lot of alcohol. Damn, we got a lot of alcohol. So this will be the high priority. And then we might as well go ahead and start throwing it in here, too. get it out of the way because it is causing quite the traffic jam upstairs ah there's that there she blows yep so just imagine we're gonna have someone coming up here and here and then we're gonna have settlers on each side protecting this side and then stabbing through and protecting that side it's gonna be awesome we got the old metal grating up here so if we ever do get archers they can sit up here comfortably and shoot down into there as people pour in. That's going to be nice. Very nice indeed. Alright, looks like we are running out of bookshelf space. We've got one and a half-ish bookshelves. Alright, so that's going to need to be something that we build next. Oh, he took 
whatever was there. Winter clothing. Superior with ooh, human skin. That's right. That's right. Always put them down in here. We're gonna have to find a place to put some. Put some more. And we got a rug down in there. Obviously, lining the cellar walls downstairs would also be another another way of doing it. Let's go upstairs. Pretty sure we have room upstairs. Let's see. Oh yeah, we got room up here. We'll, throw it. we'll, we'll have the one right here. Here, we can take this. Just throw one in right there. That'll help. And same thing here. Throw another one there. That'll help out. We got trophy things up here. <laughs> That's fun. store more books until we get the higher research level. Okay, okay. So this hits a hit for being outside. So now what I need to see is if I drop it a level, I need to fit it in here. Problem is, is it's literally that size. So it might just have to stay up there for now and take the hit. The only thing we're really using it for is smelting down stuff, which we can do more effectively here. So we get the 100% for being outside. Or the making of the components for metal traps. Which again, we're not really pushing that too much. But I do love our gigantic minefield. I guess we can start uh, moving more of them down. Just keep on plugging on. See how that looks. You kind of want to provide a little bit of a path. At least we can work them further out. Yeah, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Leaving the gigantic, <laughs> gigantic mass of traps. So there's really no reason that they should have to go down into the water. Well, except for maybe this stuff. Which we'll go ahead and start doing that. That was the next project I wanted to... Oh, come on. There we go. I wanted to get this finished up. some windows. Let's go ahead and grab the aesthetic. I'm pretty much just going to sit and do this for a little bit while we wait for a raid. It's kind of the name of the game right now. We need more humans for our delicious meals. So bring them on. Bring on the yummy people, as they say. <laughs> no one says that. Come on, kid. Right, oh, and I'm the weird one. Right, 
my, my eldest son was asking about my current playthrough. He's like, oh, because he really wants to get into this game. He sees me play all the time. He's watched a bunch of my videos. And he's like, oh, I think I have a handle for it. Like, I think I want to get into it. And I'm like, all right. He's like, what's your current playthrough? I'm like, ah, I'm doing cannibals. He's like, what? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you know, just good old-fashioned cannibals. People eating people, man. I'm like, it's like that soccer team in the mountains. We're like the, the Donner Party over here. Right? We're like that pygmy tribe. Practicing our religious beliefs. That episode of Rick and Morty, where he had to almost eat people. Any hooser. But, yeah. I'm trying to get my son to play this. He's, uh... How do you say, uh, a little bit more AD, ADD, ADHD, than I am. So, uh, he doesn't really, doesn't really go for these kind of slow burn. The first time he gave it a shot, he was like, Dad, this, this takes too long. Like, I have to, I'm like, that's the point, though. Like, you're just sitting here to relax, you're chilling. He's like, no, I can't do this. I'm like, what? why not? And then I look over, and he's already ignoring me, and he's playing Fortnite. And I'm like, ah, that, that right there, that's why. I already lost you. Here. Go ahead and start just filling all that in. Make our island a little bit bigger, we can get rid of the dirt. Hey, Flo's becoming that much better of a tailor. Good job. Somebody triggered a trap. Get these houses built. Oh, there's one more over here. I forgot. Oh, snaps. Get this one laid out. Very nicely. But let's not let's not make it a, a higher story. This, come on. There we go. I'm gonna grab this one from here. Bring it over. Sweet. We will click each of these and we will do that aesthetic that we love so much. Alright, you probably can count all the time that I waste when I play this game making sure that all the logs are facing the right way. For the longest time, I had no idea that you could do that. Everything was just gaudy and vertical logs. And hey, look at We got the raid we've been hoping for. Attack the mountain bandits. They appeared silent, eyes hollow, hair wild, smelling rancid and daubed with blood. Everyone in Covenstead recognized these pillagers as assailants of the most deadly kind. Ooh, that's quite the party. All right, you guys hold up a minute. I gotta finish this roof. It was very rude of you to interrupt me. All right, now let's try out the new shindig. Love that we have all these geniuses in there. All right, so we're gonna have our really good fighters on this back side. So let's grab Ben. I want you here. Vet, I want you here. Flow, I want you over here. Let's see, Jeffrey, I want you over here. Lilith, we'll put you here. And Megda, we'll put you there. All right, now Mary, I want you over there. Mickey boy, let's put you here. Warren, we'll put you over here. And then that leaves Jamesy boy. And good old Jeffrey. All right. The raid is upon us. Covenstead, assemble. To your positions. Look at all of them in their plate armor. <laughs> oh, big man on campus right there, Jeffrey. Actually, yeah, what, what stupid ass weapon do you have? A two handed mace? Nah, 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 nah. That is not. Come and equip this spear. You need a spear, my dude. That is how we do biz. What she got? Uh, 
and get a sturdy spear. Like, that's, that's the most effective weapon in our arsenal. Alright, they're coming in hot. Ooh, we're dropping frames like crazy. Alright, Jeffrey, where were you? You were here, weren't you? I believe you were. Yep. You get that 12th person. We'll have a full rack. Research is available. Um, infirmary bed. Four. Alright. Girly, get your booty over here. Oh, there they come. I didn't even look at what we got. 18 Master Archers. Four Marauders, three Fierce Marauders, seven Ruthless Marauders. Yeah, those Archers are not going to be doing shit. It's going to be awesome. The only thing I can think of is if there's some kind of weird mechanic where from, like, right here, they can shoot diagonal, like, oddly diagonal in like this and hit somebody. That's the only thing I can think of. But they are behind multiple reinforced doors. Yeah, come on. Come on through our little our little trap valley here. Let's see what happens. Oh, misfire. That's going to happen with these sticks. Pop. Pop. Yep, pop. One of them is basically going to clear away for the others. Pop. Pop. Yeah, there you go. They're going to there you go all bunching up. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Dang, that is a lot of people. Pop, 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 pop. Alright, so Ricky boy needs to come up over here. We need the hole to be on the outside. Wait, Jeffrey. No, get your butt in here. No, Flo, where the hell are you going? Stay in here. Still don't understand why they keep trying to abandon their posts. Oh, the archers are trying to go in and pop off shots. Yo, dude, get your ass inside. Freaking boob, man. All right, let's go. Nope. Come in. There you go. Get you over. We'll get Jeff. All this stuff is in the way. Damn it. Come on. There we go. Right. Oh, come on. These archers might actually be doing a little something to us. Jeffrey is unconscious. They're coming in and doing work. Oh, who did Rick just died? What the hell? There. Jeff, get over here. Right, they're finally coming in on the other side. 
So that archer sneaking in there, man. That, that just ruined us. Whooping on us. I thought this wasn't going to be a thing. Hey, get ah, uh, get your dumbass out of there! Ah, oh, he's dead too. Gosh, the level of stupid AI. Like, why would you run out there like that? Jeffrey's gonna have to come over here. Archers are definitely wrecking on us right now. Turn her around over here. Oh man. We just cannot get damage. These damn archers. Like, we had archers before. What was... Is it the new design change? James is unconscious. Uh. So they can. At this weird-ass angle, they can shoot in at us. All that's left is archers. Here, come hide in here, y'all. Pretty sure that's all that's left. Yeah, just archers. We're gonna have to go in here and wait them out. Oh, there goes Mary. Damn. Damn, that was just trash. So who who all did we lose? Magdalene and Rick. So Mag and Rick were the two that we lost. All right, so none of the founding four. That's positive there. Man. I'm wondering if we need a guard wall out here. If we need to fill this in and put a guard wall. Something to force them, but then to block the entrance. I really thought this was going to work. We had the straightaway. We had a couple archers come, but then they died in the field of traps. Like how these morons are walking around. Wow, this is this is just ending up being an epic fail right now. This is definitely a redesigned failure. I'll chalk that up. Sometimes ideas don't work right. Part of it, though, I'm gonna say, is the Settler AI just, like, running out into... Like, what? Uh, 
Like, you were in a safe position here, just attacking, attacking, attacking. Why would you go, oh, hey, you know what a good idea? Let me go open the door and just stand in front of the archers. Like, come on, this isn't freaking Braveheart. Like, chill. Yeah, don't understand that. Pretty much just waiting them out right now. <laughs> Hoping that maybe the traps kill enough of them, or they bleed out or something. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna have to get more traps down in these alleys. Wound enough of them. What the fuck are they shooting at? Oh, J Jamesy boy trying to get inside. Yeah, he was up there exposed for all of like two seconds. Yeah, there you go, morons. Keep walking around in my traps. Speed it up a little bit. Oh, James, where are you going? Get your... Get your dumbass in here. Still unconscious. Right, he went unconscious. But like he was trying to run outside. Like, ah, uh, this kid, man. How? Are you serious? So from out here, they can shoot an arrow that goes over perfectly through the grate and kills my guy. What? Oh, now they're going to start popping off a of, uh, victory. Oh my gosh, this is just so bad. This is so bad. <laughs> Side before these morons start popping shots. Apparently, they can freaking shoot the world's greatest shot. Bro was laying inside and they fired over. You guys saw that. They fired over. It went over, cleared this, and hit him right in the doorway on the inside. Like, what? That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Mary is dead. All right, who's next? Yep, so, uh... <laughs> yep. I can already, I can already know. I already know what you guys are gonna say. But I'm gonna say it anyway. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments. <laughs> How much of an epic fail this was. Hey, Warren's dead! Oh. They're just bleeding out left and right. <laughs> We're down to five. We're down to five people. Like, what the shit? Where's he going? Where are you going? Prioritize all this crap. A bit of repairing. Oh, I think this might be the end of Covenstead right here. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'll, I'll leave it to you guys. If we should chalk this up as a mulligan, I should go back to the previous autosave right before the raid. do things that way or if uh, we should call this quits call this the finale right we, we slaughtered down to five or if you guys think I should accept the loss and keep pushing on so I'll go ahead and leave it for you guys to decide in the comment section I have other ideas other playthroughs that we can go ahead and get started so don't worry about that um, I'm thinking my next one I'm gonna do my Mount Olympus uh, one of y'all in a previous comment section of a while back gave me a map seed that said it had a giant mountain in the middle. I figured building just a single solid fortress in the middle of that would be pretty epic. So let me know if you guys want to do uh, continue on with this.
call this the epic failure, the final finish to the Cannibal Tribe. If you think we should press on, or if I should uh, chalk up a mulligan. So four options, right? Push on, call it, or three options. Push on with what we have, call it quits, move on to something new, or hit the do-over button, the universal rewind, if you will. So go ahead and let me know in the comments section. But uh, I'm going to need a minute to uh, <laughs> gather myself after this epic loss. I really thought this redesign was going to work. really thought it would get us two fronts so we could get a lot more damage going. But archers seem to be the death of us, as with all melee. That's why in other playthroughs I like to be archer heavy, because you can pretty much just rain down infinite arrows. But we've learned our lesson. So, yeah, um... <laughs> I really don't have anything else to say other than uh, this is as good a spot as any to go ahead and call it for this episode. So thank you all so much for stopping by and joining me on this epic failure. <laughs> I, I'm still just in shock. I'm still laughing. Uh, I'm going through all the cycles of grief right now. Yeah, but hey, thanks for stopping by. As always, hit that like button. Draw me a comment. And I know you guys will. Let me know how I'm doing and definitely how I'm not doing. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe. Join the ever-growing community here on the Bears and Beans channel. If you'd like to further stay in the know, you can head over to Instagram and follow me at Bears and Beans Gaming. I follow all gamers back. And if you'd like to give some additional support to the channel, you can also become a member here on YouTube or head over and check out my Patreon. I've got tons of behind-the-scenes exclusives, as well as bonus clips, unedited footage. You know, like last week when I had the raids and all the caravans and stuff there's tons of stuff that happened in between that with me tweaking the base and encountering other things that all that footage is over there uncut raw ready to go but anyway i digress i just want to give you guys another huge thank you for joining me on this journey to uh well our inevitable death this kind of really was how i wanted to end it i will say I was planning on having some gigantic, like, 100-man raid and then just letting them all loose out into the field and just see whatever happens, happens. I figured that would be a fitting, triumphant death to a cannibal tribe. But you guys make this awesome. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the comments, the feedback. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.